When I press the power button to turn on my MacBook, it makes a startup sound. But after loading macOS, I see a folder icon with a question mark in the center. So today I will show you how to fix this problem. But before that, let's quickly understand why these issues happen. I went into the MacBook recovery screen and opened disk utility. From there, I erased my main partition of my hard disk. The erase process was successful. After that, I click on reinstall macOS and the setup process started. But after a while, it stopped with the error message. An error occurred while loading the update. When I tried again, disk utility no longer allow me to erase the hard disk and I kept getting error. From that point, every time I restarted and the folder with the question mark keep appearing. That's actual the issues. Now let's fix it step by step. First, I shut down my MacBook. Then I press and held command plus R to enter internet recovery. And then I choose my Wi-Fi and enter the password. After connected Wi-Fi, it takes some time like 30 minutes to load this recovery process and then I got a error. So it's called minus 2005F error. This is actually happen if there have problem with your Wi-Fi connection. If you have any Ethernet cable and a Type-C hub, then you can use a wired connection internet. In this case, maybe you not uh, getting this error, so it will be solved after that. Alright, since Wi-Fi recovery failed for me, I decide to try another method. I turned off my MacBook again and this time I press and held Shift plus Option plus Command plus R together. And this shortcut loads the version of macOS that originally came with your MacBook, I mean default macOS when the MacBook is released. It's the most reliable option and in my case it's actually worked. After a few minutes of loading, it was asked to sign in my Apple ID and I entered my Apple ID and password. When the authentication is successful, then the recovery screen appeared again. From here, I go to disk utility and then again it is my hard disk partition once more time. Then I select reinstall macOS. For me it install macOS Catalina because that was the default version for my MacBook 2019 uh, and it's MacBook Pro. So it's maybe different for you. For you it may be different version depending on your model. The installation process took about 4 hours. Once it's complete, I was able to set up my MacBook again.
The setup process is very simple and I am sure you will able to do it too. So this is how we can solve the folder with question mark issue on your MacBook. If this method does not work for you, don't worry, I have another video linked in the description and the i button also, where I show you how to create a bootable macOS USB installer. You can try that method as well. Hopefully this video has helped you to fix your problem. If you still have any issue, you can comment below. I will try to reply and try to solve your problem. So thank you so much. See you on the next video. Till then take care. Ta-ta.